Thanks for joining me. We're going to take a opportunity here to go over the module four short paper. So as you might guess from the logos that are shown here on the slide, we're going to continue our focus on businesses and organizations for the module four short paper. This time we'll be focusing in on actions that the business or organization that you choose can take to address a sustainability issue. And again, I just want to highlight you get to choose the business organization to focus in on your short paper. So make sure you have an opportunity to look around, find something that you're really interested in looking at. So let's take a look at the assignment prompts. The short paper here provides an opportunity for you to really focus in on a business or organization that you engage with or that you're interested in. As you research that business or organization, be sure that you consider how the practices it employs impact the environment. So this might include both positive and negative impacts the practices have on the environment. And in the case of impacts, some might be local, others might be more global, or that business or organization might have both more global and local impacts. It really depends on the business or organization that you choose to focus in on. So the analysis you're being asked to do will require you to think about the variety of impacts the business organization can have on the environment. And perhaps you wanna make a short list of possible impacts that you learned about in previous modules, and then consider each with regard to the practices that business or organization employs. Next, you're going to consider how the business or organization might become even more sustainable. What are some of the shortcomings in terms of sustainability and how might the business or organization add or subtract from their current practices to move in that direction? What things might the business or organization do that would help it move forward toward being more sustainable with regard to each one of the three pillars? And I think you probably want to break it down that way as you're thinking about it. Each one of the three pillars, what actions, practices might the business change or add that would help with that. Okay, let's take a look at how your paper will be assessed. This grading rubric focuses heavily on the impact and the actions portion of your writing. So please make sure that you review the rubric before you submit your short paper to ensure that you've addressed all of those rows. Let's take a closer look at each row specific to this particular set of prompts. So first, you're gonna focus on impact. Here we recognize that even the most sustainable of businesses or organizations have some areas where they can improve or where they have a negative impact on the environment. Here you wanna make sure that you describe the impacts the business organization has on the environment using specific examples. Then in terms of actions, we've learned that there are often trade-offs to reach a balance within a business or organization for how the practices impact sustainability. So in this section, you wanna focus on examples of actions the business or organization might take to become even more sustainable. Also, what can people on the outside of the business or organization do to help it become sustainable? And of course, then there is the clear communication section. Is your paper clear and concise? Is it easy for the reader to follow? Does the reader understand the purpose of your writing? Does the reader understand the ways in which you're supporting your thesis statement through the examples that you're sharing? And then finally, citations and attributions. Uh, when sources are needed, did you cite those sources and did you properly use APA formatting? And if you've got questions about when to cite or when not to cite, go ahead and reach out to me, please. All right. So thanks for joining me. I hope this is helpful in getting you started on the module four short paper. As always, if you need some help, reach out to me. Happy to help. Have a great time.